So we're going to build a staircase on this deck from this point, and it's going to come down roughly over there somewhere. Now we predetermined this height of the bottom step is going to be the same level as this. So we put a deck board on here, which is one inch, and we measured from here to the top of the finished deck. So we got 113 and three quarter. Divide that by 16 steps, you get seven and an eighth. That's about a perfect step for what we're doing. So then you come over here, you take your frame square, seven and an eighth, and we want 10 and three quarter because the, the two deck boards are going to come to about 11 and a quarter. So we're going to have a half inch overhang on our deck board. Now the most accurate way to do a staircase this large, and nobody does it this way that I've seen, but it is to measure from this point to this point, which is 12 and 7 eighths strong, or 12 and 29 30 seconds. And then what you do is you just add that number up. You're going to need a construction calculator. You add that number up to get all these numbers. Okay. This is the most accurate way. Then you hook your tape here from the top and then you make all your marks all the way down. The traditional way that people normally do stairs, and which is fine on smaller ones, is you just you start tracing and then you just put your square right on that old mark that you just did. That works fine too, but when you're doing a staircase that's this long, this is better. This is a more accurate way to do it. Then you just take you square and you just mark you just line it up right on your marks exactly on your marks then you can start tracing now we're going to do that all the way down the top step is going to be a little different All this is going to get cut off. So this all comes off and this comes off. The deck is up here. We drop our deck, our frame, stair stringer down. It's going to be eight and an eighth down from the top of your frame. That way, by the time you add an inch here, or no, it's going to be an eight, eight and an eighth down from the top of the deck board is what it's going to be. It's going to be seven and an eighth down from the top of the frame. So if your deck board is already up here, it'll be eight and an eighth down. So when you add your one inch deck board here, that makes it seven and an eighth. So every step is the same. It's the opposite on the bottom step. The bottom step will be an inch short. So by the time you add the deck board on the first step, it'll equal seven and an eighth. Now I'll mark this all out and then we'll start cutting this out. So what we got to do now is figure out where the first step is going to start because we have to pour concrete underneath the first step. And the way that we do that is we set up the transit 
we already know the height is going to be the same as this. Okay, so that's why we we set up this two by four the same height as that concrete. Okay, and I don't know exactly where it's going to go yet until we set a a stringer on here. That'll tell me exactly where I can start my concrete. We're not going to put any concrete in front because that's going to be pavers or something at some point. I got this all marked out. 16 steps. Okay, so I got the top of my stringer notched out and the bottom notched out. When I get to that point, I tack it up. We, uh, we already took the laser and we made this, these two things level so I could set this on there so we could determine where the concrete's gonna go. We're digging down four feet. This is gonna be our concrete pad that's what the stringers are gonna sit on. And I take, I put PVC, so this step is an inch shorter already, and then I take another inch off and I put a one inch piece of PVC on there. So then it won't, we won't have wood sitting on uh, concrete. And then we'll also make a notch for a two by four. I'll put some anchor bolts in the concrete and the two by four get anchored onto that. And then this thing, will get kind of wedged in there so 16 steps but this uh the stringer has only got 15 this is your top step so we took our 113 three quarter divided it by 16 come up with seven and an eighth I don't like to get really over seven and a half. I think that's getting a little tall. So seven and an eighth works for me. And uh, so yeah, 16 divided by that gives you the seven and an eighth. It's actually pretty simple. What we'll do then is we'll I'll, I'll cut another inch and a half off here. And <clears throat> you know, that gets screwed onto the back side of this and then we have something to screw into this so all right I'm gonna cut all these out now okay so here's um, the two by four that we're gonna cut out and it's important not to run the saw past this line I have seen that in other YouTube videos they don't know what they're doing. Um, I'll show you how we do it. Sure you follow cut on the inside of the line and a lot of times these just break off and then you just take a jigsaw to uh, clean it up like that there's another YouTube video where a guy built stairs it's got like seven million views something like that and he runs past both ways and it's wrong so this is the right way so okay so we determined where the first step is going to start this way now we have to figure out where it's going to be this way so that's where these lasers come into handy i got this uh 
laser here. It's a laser tape measure. And I went from the outside there, which is going to be our frame for the stairs, and went into the ledger board. 17, 15, 16. And then I came over here. I just threw, tacked this 2x4 up. So you hold this on. And then that shoots a laser down there. Can't see it, but it shoots that down there. So this is the same as right there. Okay, then you take another laser, plumb bob laser, and you go on your mark, you see that red dot right there. So we'll put that we'll put that red dot right on the mark, come down here, and we'll mark it wherever that goes. That'll tell me exactly where the 2 by 12 will start. And then I can then I can frame the form, form this up, and we can get it poured. Okay, so once your first stringer is cut, you can use that one to trace all this out onto the rest of them. What I do before I even start, I rip all of my 2x12s down to the same width because it's treated lumber. So I make them all 11 and a quarter. And then I flush up the backs so that's perfectly flush, clamp it down, get a sharp pencil, and then trace it out. So now we're to the point where we're going to frame the stairs on the sawhorses down here. This is the bottom 2x4 that we made. We wrap everything with G-tape. It goes on these bolts. We got that figured out. So we'll actually put this on now. There will be three more stringers that go in here. We're going to put all of our backing on, all of our tape, to tape everything. We'll do that now, and then we just, we'll lift the whole thing up, and once we get it up, this thing will just fall into place right on the bolts. We're also going to add PVC to the bottom of this, and to the bottom of the stringers. That'll prevent any water from soaking into the bottom. So. Okay, so we got the frame pretty much done. Um, we added these 2x12s in for extra support. That'll really make this staircase solid. We started adding G-Tape. This is uh, the brand. Get it on Amazon got all different lengths sizes um, Now we're gonna put the fascia board on and we're gonna take a router and router this all out We screw this put this on with these uh, Cortex screws This is Trex Trex you you can use these Cortex they have a plug I'll Show you in a little bit and it hides the screw. Let's see. This is the router bit I'm going to use. Okay, so. So now that we got the fascia board installed, we're going to go ahead and cut it all out with the router and that bit that I showed you earlier. Um, there's a reason why we don't tape this one yet. We, we installed the fascia, router it out, then we can come and put the tape on and it covers up this gap here. That seam will all get taped shut. So I'll show you how I do that.
it's really the only way to accurately cut that out. And I'll show you the uh, Cortex plugs that we do. We pre-drill a hole and then we screw it on and then these plugs go on and they get hit in just like that. That's the nice thing with Trex, they have that option. With other companies, their board isn't thick enough. So, yeah. So we got the staircase lifted up in place and we did it kind of a, a non-traditional way. We took the skid loader and put some straps on it and went over the landing down to the skid loader. I just drove, went back real slow and lifted it up just fine. Worked really good. Not typically how we do them, but that's what we had on site, so that's what we used. And now uh, we just got to get it bolted down and start putting the decking on. Okay, we're to the point of installing all the fascia board and the deck boards. Now the reason I made the frame 46 inches wide is because we have 5 8 fascia board on both sides and then I want a little bit of an overhang so we cut all of our deck boards at 4 feet exactly that way because Trex boards come 12, 16, and 20 foot and you can have the least amount of waste with 4 foot increments so that's why I do that and then we start with the fascia board that gets installed like this. That gets, uh, I just use a pencil, the thickness of my pencil right here for the uh, overhang this way. We use the Cortex plugs up here and we'll do that on a few of them and then we can start installing these. I got these uh, L brackets that are 3 16 that go back behind there. And uh, once the first one's installed, then I have these Azac spacers. These work really good. It's eighth inch on one side, three sixteenths on another. We use three sixteenths gap. Okay, when we make our fascia boards, we have a pattern, and then you just take a nail punch and you can punch it onto the one below. Okay, this is our first board, which is one inch less than the deck board. So it's six and an eighth, and that'll go on like this. So once you put the one inch here, then it will become seven and an eighth. They're gonna do pavers down here at some point, new pavers, which will be right here. So, now you can see how I bolted this down. It's nice and tight. We got the PVC under here so it'll never rot. We still have to add post backing. I should have probably did the post backing before we did the fascia board, but I forgot. <clears throat> it's no big deal. We just got to do it before we get too many deck boards on. This staircase, we could still, we still have access underneath here if we need to but we also added a support in the middle just because this staircase is kind of long um, and it takes out any bounce really wasn't any bounce anyway but it really makes it solid and this thing will never sag over time this all got a clear coat because it's cedar it'll look better just like we did on the hot tub area. We like to use these uh, pergola bolts. So, and then we're putting LED lights in all the way up on every step. We'll have a LED light. Okay, so the way that I do my stairs that's a lot easier, I think, is just to order all solid 
solid edge. This is what I mean by solid edge. Normal deck boards have a groove right here, but when you do stairs, you want the nosing to be solid. But I just get solid for all of it. It's just easier. And then we use these Cortex screws and plugs. And it takes a little plug, just like we do the fascia. These hide a lot uh, better than fascia. You can try and line up the wood grain like that one. So you're supposed to drill a 3 sixteenths hole. You don't have to, but it, it, it does seem to work a little better. And that bit sets it to the right height so your plug will fit. Sometimes it won't go in, just use a, uh, what I do is I just use a nail punch and just hit it down a little bit for the plug to fit. So the first row I use these. It's got that L bracket thing. And then we use these. got our backing in for the posts. That's just doubled up uh, two by tens. And then you want to come in like two inches to make sure you get past, you know, you got your half inch overhang and your five eighths fascia and then you want to get back here into the solid. So it's, it's over here somewhere. So All right, so now I'm starting the railings. We're using a Trex Signature aluminum railing. This is actually the first time I've used this brand. We don't typically use this one, but I got the post all tacked down. I just used a 3 8 uh, bolt, leg bolt, and uh, by four inch. And uh, we'll get these all bolted down, leveled up. I use a crossover post here so the handrail is just continuous. I don't like having this post higher. I'm not a fan of that look. I think it should be continuous. So that's what we're gonna do there. We'll have a cap on the top and we'll have a cap on the bottom. These are all gonna get cut off after we figure out where they need to be cut. We got uh, most of the railings done up here. We're putting a drink rail on the top. That's why these are cut down. And that's just going to be another uh, Trex board, the darker one. So. And after the railings are done, we're going to start the LED lights. Alright, I got the posts all level. So now what we're going to do is I take a, a deck board that's one inch thick and just lay it on there so it's on the nosing of all the steps. Okay, so then you can take, and this is the bottom uh, rail of the Trex railing. Take a clamp to hold it. I put a piece of tape on so that little piece of plastic doesn't slide out. We're not centering it just yet. Right now all we're doing is I'm going to mark the brackets, the bottom brackets. So you just line up the bottom of this with the bottom of this like that and then you make a mark and then these get centered, then get installed. Same thing with the bottom one. This is the bottom bracket. So we'll do that. We'll put all them on all the way around. And then we'll do the same thing. And then we can center this. Take this, do the same thing. Mark it, cut it, put it in, and so on and so forth. So, so I got all the brackets installed on the bottom. All these are done. And uh, 
it comes with a black screw that's kind of you know you would think that it would go here but it don't if you put that here you'll never get the cover on the cover will just spread out and probably break so you put this um, black one in and then you put this uh, this silver one in in there so then when you do your cover it won't it'll fit nice so we centered our bottom rail, mark it underneath here, take a quarter inch off. You don't have to cut it at an angle, you just cut it straight. And then uh, same thing right here, you go from that point there, go a quarter inch shy, cut it off straight. Then you cut your bottom, this bottom piece, put that on. And then you can put the screws in, put a couple spindles in, make sure that they're down. You might have to look up in there. Yep, so they're down. Then you just center it, or make sure it's parallel with your bottom. Now this one, this bottom brackets, this is just gonna get a bracket, okay? So that bracket can go on. This can get cut off wherever I want, a couple inches up. This one is a little different. These two are gonna have a crossover bracket. So, and then you just kind of line it up and then figure out where you wanna cut it and cut it straight and then, yeah. That's probably about all I'm gonna show on the stairs. I'm not gonna get too detailed on how to do these railings. All right, so we got all the railings installed. Now we're gonna start putting the LED lights in. This uh, staircase turned out nice. It's, uh, I just don't like having a post come up here with a cap. Seems like everybody does that. I just, it's a lot nicer if you can just, you know, walk up like this, in my opinion. So we're still waiting on a couple brackets so we can finish this section here and a little one over there then we can finish the drink rail. But it won't be long. So this is the finished look of uh, how I build a staircase. This is all Trex, Trex decking and Trex aluminum railings. Um, the lights aren't Trex, those are we got on Amazon. Uh, but yeah, I think it turned out good. I like it, customer likes it. These lights do change colors and you can dim them and set them on a timer and all that. So that's the finished look. I like to use cedar. It just looks better, I think. And we put a clear coat on all the cedar exterior minwax. We had to do a hot tub on this deck, so I had to build this in order to get it flush up top. The deck's 14 feet by 32 feet, I think, something like that. We'll go up top. <clears throat> And I always do the herringbone look. I don't like putting 45s on. I think this looks better. Everybody has their own preference though. So what we do is we, we install these two borders, these two first. 
and then we lay all of our decking and we run it long and then I take a track saw <clears throat> and cut them all out <clears throat> so that's how we can get that straight line I've done it the other way and it's this is the way to do it the hot tub has this lip here it's about a quarter inch all the way around so this goes underneath a little bit that's how we can get that nice finished look and uh, this is all removable and I, I built the frame six inches bigger all the way around the hot tub in case they ever want to put a bigger hot tub in uh, they can this thing can come out easy they can access uh, all the plumbing underneath on this side so this is the uh, second hot tub we've uh, installed like this I, I prefer it in the deck like this rather than sitting on top it just I think it looks nicer Well, that's it. Hopefully uh, this video helps somebody learn how to build stairs. I didn't like any of the videos on YouTube on how to build stairs. Uh, they're all wrong. And I think the way I do it is the right way. Thanks for watching. Thank you.